Okay, so I didn't have any crazy heart racing in the gym, but I definitely had some of what I felt on Crack OG, which was super, let me take this off, super um, hyped, like cracked out almost. And, uh, but Crack OG was very much more intense. But Crack Primal, it's intense, but I feel like it's the improved version of Crack OG. I like I wanna say that carefully because they're both very similar. But Crack Primal is a little bit more toned down and more about energy. And there is mood elevation, but it's only slight. I wouldn't say it's the highlight. Uh, but I definitely feel like this is better than the last version. Uh, this feels like it's more pure, like they're using a better source, I guess, of DMHA. But this is only my second time using it. And the first time using it was a lot more intense, so I have to use it again just to see how it goes. And uh, it definitely was interesting. So the focus was like, okay, it wasn't too intense, but um, it was there. Like there was some focus, but it's not overwhelming. I felt like Crack OG was more, a little bit more on the focus side. Crack OG feels like it's more well-rounded. And Crack Primal feels like it's more focused on energy with some focus and some mood elevation. While Crack OG feels like it's more well-rounded, has everything. So this was a really nice experience. The first time using Crack Primal though, a few days ago, it was super intense. But uh, we'll see the third time. Maybe the third time will be even less intense. But I did take one day in between off. Yesterday I used Bulk by Transparent Labs with the STEM Booster. So that's 300 milligrams of caffeine, but still, Crack Primal is like 600, so it should be a lot more intense. But um, I definitely felt like the DMHA hit hard. The caffeine though, not as hard as the first time. The first time was, my heart was elevated very much so, but with this, it was elevated during intense periods, but when I took a break, it was back to normal. But with Crack OG, I felt like it was staying elevated for a prolonged period of time. So it was pretty good though. We'll see the third time. Okay, Dark Labs has a lot of pre-workouts, right? They have Flame, they have Heroin V2, they have Crack Purple, Crack OG, Crack Gold. Now, Crack Primal. Crack Primal has been refreshed. I did review Crack Primal a while ago, so if you want to see that in-depth breakdown, breakdown of the label, then you can check out the video in the description. But basically, the overview of the ingredients is that it's a high stimulant, high caffeine, 650 milligrams, between 600 and 650 milligrams of caffeine. It's a lot of caffeine. And between all the other pre-workouts from Dark Labs, it has an awkward spot, right? Crack Primal promises to be high energy, but then we have Crack OG, then we have Crack Purple, they're both also high energy. Crack Primal has a stimulant that the other cracks do not have, uh, which is Halostatin. And Halostatin is a little bit of a different kind of stimulant, it should help with fat burning, and it's marketed as like an alternative to ephedrine, which is banned by the market, and we don't really see that in pre-workouts unless it's in the form of ephedra. So what's Crack Primal supposed to be? Like, it's supposed to be high energy, mood elevating, uh, highly energizing type of pre-workout. And is it? Well, it's kind of interesting because the position of Crack Primal is just very awkward between all the other cracks. It has to stand out in some way or another. And drinking this, I've used this three times now, and I haven't used it two days in a row because it's quite high caffeine. Even for me, I've been taking pre-workouts since 2007 and using this type of pre-workout, I mean, it doesn't matter <laughs> how much you're used to, it will affect your sleep quality. Even if you don't, you know, find it to be highly energizing, it's still very strong and the half-life of caffeine lasts a while. And in between the days of taking Crack Primal, I took a lower stimulant pre-workout with 200 milligrams of caffeine. And with this, it sort of gave me an opportunity to recover and sleep properly the day after using Crack Primal. Because Crack, Crack Primal is just highly energizing with the caffeine content. And forget about the other stimulants, caffeine alone, 600 milligrams, that's quite high. I mean, you can't even go higher than that. So it's a, it's a very advanced pre-workout. 
And drinking this gave me like an alertness that is expected from such a highly energizing pre-workout. And after about, let's say, half an hour to an hour, I start to enter this phase where it's sort of reminiscent of Crack OG. Now, Crack OG, it's highly, highly alert, like the balance between all aspects of pre-workout is in Crack OG and a full serving, it kills appetite, it gives really hard, really hard heart racing uh, even after the workout, but during the workout it just feels like a highly energizing pre-workout. But Crack Primal, it feels like that. At full serving, I'm able to handle Crack Primal without issues. There's no appetite suppression at all, but yet the energy is sort of like Crack OG. And the focus, let's not forget, like it's very strong focus. The amount of focus I would get from Crack Primal, it's just locked in. Even without much, you know, nootropics, uh, it's still very highly focused, like it's a lock-on focus type of thing. And it's very hard to look around <laughs> when you're as motivated as me, especially using Crack Primal. It's sort of weird because with Heroin, there's absolutely no focus, it's just high energy. But Crack Primal does it quite a good job. And just the focus was just super locked in. The mood elevation was there. But it wasn't, like, it's there. It's, there's mood elevation, but it's not intense, it's not insane, or anything better than Crack OG, in my opinion. Crack OG was just well balanced in all aspects, with the side effects though, at full serving, I'm able to handle it at half a serving. But with Crack Primal, it's quite the opposite. I can take it at a full serving, and it's highly energizing, but I don't feel any side effects other than, you know, the heart racing that comes hours later because I'm sitting on the computer doing mundane work. But if you're, you know, working at a high, high uh, intensive labor kind of job, then you may not feel the same heart rate uh, increase as me, where I was just sitting and, and, you know, every heartbeat, you can just feel it. And working at home, working on a computer, you can just feel the high energy that's coming off Crack Primal. So the mood elevation is there, the focus is locked in, the energy as well, it feels like Crack OG. It's not completely the same. Crack OG felt like it was like entering a dimension with lots of focus and energy and the energy was just like cracked out. I would look in, you know, I did a live YouTube uh, video once and with Crack OG, I was looking at the camera like, I'm cracked out, I'm cracked out. But with Crack Primal, there's still that feeling, but it's not as intense. Crack OG is super intense. I'm comparing it because this is, you know, there's so many crack pre workouts now with dark labs. Crack Primal has to stand out in some way. And what is unique about it is that there isn't any side effects like Crack OG. Crack Primal, full serving, no problem. But a half a serving of Crack OG, you may as well get Crack OG if it feels like Crack Primal at full serving, right? So it has this awkward position between all the other pre-workouts that Dark Labs has, and it has to stand out. And I did forget to mention there's Barbarian and Undead, which has completely, not completely, but has a standout stimulant called DMBA, which is highly aggressive urgency type, type of energy. But Crack Primal, while it feels urgent, I want to get to the gym and I want to work out, and I'm locked in and I'm focused, but it's not physically urgent, like it's mentally urgent type of thing. And there's mood elevation, but it's not super intense, as I mentioned. Uh, it's, it's a very uh, hard to position Crack Primal as something that's worthy to get above Crack OG or Crack Purple, for example. And even though now Crack Purple, I think has been for reformulated to DMHA, it still smacks hard. So it has a very <laughs> unique, um, awkward position between all the other pre-workouts that Crack has. And I, I keep bringing this up because you have the option, right, between Crack Primal, Crack OG, Crack Purple. And Crack Primal, is, it's a very nice pre-workout, but the high amount of caffeine is just a little much for me. And I think Moving towards other stimulants without using or depending on caffeine is the way to go. And even though I love Dark Labs and I love their pre-workouts, they always smack hard. I'm always going to keep my reviews totally truthful and unsponsored. And uh, so Crack Primal, 
it was sent to me for free from Dark Labs. I'm still going to give my review and shout out to Dark Labs. Thank you so much for sending that tub to me. Uh, it's highly, it's, it's much better than the last version. That's one thing. Like if you enjoyed the original Crack Primal, Crack Primal, the new version, and uh, is, is stands way above the previous Crack Primal. Crack Primal previously was just like energizing, a little bit of mood elevation, it was smooth, it was nice. Well, not smooth, but it was, it was there, the feeling of uh, mood elevation, energy, kind of focus. But now with this version of Crack Primal, it's, it has better source stimulants. And that's the promise, at least, or that's what we have been hearing. So let's go down to the frequently asked questions, because I'm sure you have questions. The first question I'm sure you'd have is, should you get Crack Primal? If you can get Crack OG, you might as well get Crack OG and use it at half a serving, and that's where the golden serving is, golden uh, dosing is for Crack OG, because at full serving there's side effects, and the side effects don't really kick in until hours later taking it. I just feel sick to my stomach. So half a serving Crack OG does beat Crack Primal in that sense. But if, if you want, like, I cannot see using Crack Primal at half a serving and still getting the same amount of intensity of focus and energy. I haven't even tried half a serving because I was fine with full serving and I did weigh out my scoops, by the way, which uh, it isn't. Like, I'll show you a video of how the scoop looks like when it's at a full serving. So that was the first question, uh, if you should get Crack OG or Crack Primal. The second question you may have is, is it better than Crack Purple? Crack Purple, is highly, highly focused, energizing, like you're in a dark tunnel and you're taken for a ride, but it's not survival mode or anything like that. It's a point A to point B driven, focus, sort of euphoric, energizing type pre-workout, where as pri uh, Crack Primal is, uh, it's a toned down version. I feel like of Crack Purple and it doesn't have the pumps. It, the pumps are okay, but it's not the highlight like Crack Purple. Crack Purple has those nitrates, has a DMHA or DMAA, depending on where you're getting from, but they're both hit, hard hitting from what I heard um, about the, the uh, DMHA version because I did hear it still smacks as hard as the DMAA version. So the next question you may have, what's different about this Crack Primal versus the old Crack Primal. So the new Crack Primal has a new flavor, Peachy Weechy. Not only that, but the stimulants are harder hitting, and it does feel like it's harder hitting. So Crack Primal, if you like the previous version, you'll like the new version, Crack Primal. Uh, the next question you may have, can you get a discount? You can use my discount code FitFrick, and FitFrick, it's uh, FitFreak without the A. But uh, what other questions do you have? Like, it's super good for focus, super good for energy, but is it a daily pre-workout? That's another question you may have. No, it's not a daily pre-workout, 600 milligrams of caffeine. If you build a tolerance to that, like there's literally, every other pre-workout will not really work for you that well, and you'll need to either take a break or space out the times you use Crack Primal, or uh, you need to increase the stimulant intake, which is dangerous. So, are there any side effects to Crack Primal? Well, it has high stimulants, so if, you, if you're taking it on a regular basis, there's going to be more of a chance to get that side effect of, you know, because caffeine alone causes vasoconstriction, it's not good for the heart, causes havoc on the cardiovascular system and your blood pressure. So, check your blood pressure with a little machine. I mean, you don't have to go to the doctor, but it's ideal if you want to get a full checkup every once in a while, but at the very least, I recommend checking your heart rate throughout the day and compare it to the other days and uh, definitely try to take a pump formula alongside a high stimulant pre-workout like Crack Primal. Well, Crack Primal still has some pump ingredients. It's not as intense as Crack Purple. So is Crack Primal made for bodybuilding? Yeah, it's great for bodybuilding, great for powerlifting. It's also great for CrossFit, but not so good for cardio-based like, activities because you want that heart rate to be as smooth and as efficient as possible. Taking Crack Primal will make it a little harder. Next question that you may have is, does it help with performance? So taking a high stimulant pre-workout is not always the best answer because of that problem of the heart uh, and cardiovascular. Uh, the, the intense um, 
the intense attack on the cardiovascular system, let's say with the blood pressure, with your heart rate, with your bicep constriction, not the healthiest. And uh, so you want to use it, I would recommend once or twice a week max. If you want to be safe, I would say like once every two weeks for a high stimulant pre-workout like this. Unless you use half a serving, then it's perfect. Do you need a pump formula to combine it with crack primal? I would recommend it if you want high pumps, uh, good pumps, because the pumps of crack primal are okay. But it's not spectacular, not as good as Crack Purple, let's say. And as I was saying, uh, taking high stimulants will affect your performance. You won't be able to squat as hard because your heart rate's pounding so fast, or it, uh, your heart rate will increase, right, from the stimulants. And your heart rate is already going to increase from squats, so combining both just causes havoc on your cardiovascular system. Not havoc, but it'll take away from your performance. So taking a lower stimulant pre-workout to maximize performance is ideal, uh, especially when it comes to the stimulant complex of these types of pre-workouts. Is Crack Primal for beginners? No, it's not. It's a high stimulant pre-workout, and I recommend you have a tolerance at least, or be used to taking 300 milligrams to 400 milligrams of caffeine. And uh, yeah, there's. Is there any side effects to Crack Primal? There isn't uh, that I've noticed other than working harder in between those heavy compound lifts like squats and stuff. So there you have it. All the links will be found in the description below. And uh, if you want the full breakdown of the label, I do recommend you check out that video. Uh, it'll help you a lot to understand it. I also have an article version as well in the link. The link will be found in the description. But if you have any more questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and your so you're a super legend. You're a super uh, legend for sticking with me to this point. I really appreciate you watching. If you watch the end of this point, or if you watch the end of this video, <laughs> wow, I'm jittery. I'm anxious, and everything else. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah.